Hello Britain in Bloom judges. I'm Judy Deverson, Chair of Stony Stratford in Bloom. With the first lockdown and so many people in desperate need, we had an urgent desire to do something to help. And with so many beds at the community gardens lying empty because of COVID, we had an opportunity to do something positive to help by growing healthy vegetables for those who needed them. We weren't sure how it would work, but we just dived in. We got the ground ready, um, got the watering rotor for the polytunnel, and Sonny and Bloom volunteers donated seeds. We're delighted that some local allotment volunteers gave us some seedlings too. York House Community Centre uh, gave us the compost, and it was more successful than we'd ever imagined. We were able to harvest from early June, and on a weekly basis had about two boxes of fruit and vegetables to give. The King's Food Bank in Wilburton accepts fresh produce and we're delighted when we got in touch. What has been really wonderful has been getting young families involved. And here is Kate. What, what got you involved and what has it meant to you? Um, I um, really enjoy being able to provide, help provide uh, local people with freshly grown fruit and vegetables, uh, you know, in a time when they're um, having hardship and uh, having to access the food bank. Um, I've come here with my family um, throughout all the different lockdowns and it's been a, a real haven of peace and calm. Uh, and my children have had a great experience learning how to grow from all the different volunteers here. And now COVID regulations allow, it's been wonderful having our fantastic Duke of Edinburgh volunteers around to help us with things like, and their dads, to help us with things like putting down the membrane in the polytunnel. What has also been great is that the York House community plots have provided a beautifully safe haven for more vulnerable volunteers with Stony and Bloom. And they've been able to get here, come here, and feel that they are contributing to society too. Well, I mean, the thing is, I was able to come down here. Now, you don't probably don't know this. I nip down here from time to I time. I do know. When there's nobody here, and it was heaven. It was freedom. And really, it did me so much good, mentally and physically, because the atmosphere down here is so lovely, particularly when it's empty, except for one person. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's but wonderful. What I love about it as well is the deep sense of purpose one gets from working here. We do things that are needed to be done. And it makes you feel you're doing something incredibly worthwhile. So, yes, we certainly value what you do at that too. <laughs> Anna, what has it meant to you to come here? Um, it's been brilliant. Firstly, thank you for having me. Um, it's been excellent for my rehab from brain injury. And both my um, OT and neuro nurse, they're just really happy with the way things are going. And it's a very safe environment. And I feel I'm doing something useful, uh, even though I can't do too much. Well, we certainly found you very useful. You're a very important part of the team now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it was so successful that we were determined to continue it this year. We managed to get two MK Community Foundation grants to buy more compost, manure, cold frames, netting and so on. And we got work, set, set to work again. Um, with Covid rules easing a little, more people could get on board. Mary here and, and Salome came on board and joined us. Mary, why did you want to join us? Well, I just would like to say that uh, since we moved to Estonia, you know, seven years ago, we had been coming to the new house. We started to help Sun in Blue with the community gardens in front of the new house. And when Judy told us about uh, growing food for the food bank, that was, wow, yes, we want to, part, to be part of that. So here we are. So we have plant and... You know, we are just helping with it. It's so beautiful to help the community. 
and you've helped us so much with sowing parsnips, digging, and sowing so lots. Hello, I'm Tina, the administrator at York House. It's been a funny old time, but thank goodness we're all getting through it. And Stony and Bloom have done their absolute best. They've made York House useful in this horrible time and have volunteered to come in and do our beds, grow food for the community and the food banks. So even though it's been tough, we still manage to contribute to the community. And already we've been working hard, sowing carrot seeds, parsnips, setting onions, planting loads of potatoes. Already we've been able to, to take to the, to the food bank uh, chard, mounds of rhubarb and lettuces. And for the rest of the year we know there'll be loads more stuff to give to the food bank.